Hello everyone, it's Mark. I um, went ahead and decided to do a, basically what I'm going to call it is my two for one special video because I'm going to do not only am I going to do a how to put on your foundation, I'm also going to do a review on the foundations I use. So you're going to get a lot of information in one itty bitty video. So I'm going to try to act quickly and get quickly so that we can get through everything. The very first thing I want to talk about is actually not even related to foundation because my lips have been so dry lately. I don't know why. I don't know if it's the weather or if it's just um, my lips just happen to want to be weird lately. But I've been wearing my lip balm. And the lip balm that I wear is Beauty Control because Beauty Control is, of course, the company I used to work for. And it's, it's the best lip balm ever. I, uh, I, um, I can't express how much I love this lip balm. It's my favorite. I won't go back to like chapstick because it's so good. So I really suggest this. Oh, and it's award winning. It's award winning if you talk to your beauty control uh, person. It's award winning. Okay, so the very first thing I wanted to talk about was if we're going to do foundations, we're going to start with liquid. I'm going to do a matte finish because I like matte finishes. You don't have to do a matte finish. You could skip the powder altogether and do a slick finish, I guess is what you'd call it. I really honestly don't know the pr proper term for it. But I usually think of a dewy. That's why I usually call it the dewy finish where you just have the liquid on there. Anyway, I'm going to need to get my mirror out first because my mirror was hiding in my desk. There I am. Okay. Um, the, now we're going to use Beyond Natural Smoothing Primer, which I've talked about before. And it's brand new. And honestly, this is the first time I'm ever trying it um, on the full face because I normally just try like a section, like a swatch, even when it comes to primer everything. This is the first primer I've ever used actually on my skin and I'm going to use my hands because um, that's the only way I've been taught how to put on primer. Now this primer is very good but I wouldn't suggest it to people if you don't like greasy greasy finishes because this is very greasy and I don't mind greasy at all. Just like, um, for example, another greasy product would be Clinique um, Take the Day Off is a very greasy product. Okay, now I've only put like a dime size amount of this primer on and it is turning into a powder kind of, but I still have this greasy feeling. So yeah. I don't know if it's going to smooth it out as good really any, anything really I've never tried it before so we're learning together on video okay um, the next thing I'm going to use is my 220 light medium beyond natural skin matching makeup by Revlon these are both Revlon products by the way I don't know if I mentioned that I don't think I did they're both Revlon products and this does have an SPF 15 in it but what I find fascinating about it is that it comes on white and matches to your skin tone. I'm not even kidding with you. Look at that. It's white. It's like, um, reminds me of, um, white out. Okay, I'm going to use my Sonia Kashuk brush and I'm just going to start painting it on. But look, once I start painting it on, it turned into my skin color. Isn't that amazing? And it's actually going on quite smooth. Quite smooth indeed. And I've already done like half my face. This is why this is a review and a how to because I'm teaching you how to put it on. Plus I'm also um, telling you how I think about the product. But um, yeah, going back to my face, it, it's not really a noticeable color. It's not like I see any color. It's very sheer, but I know it's there.
and it is going on white but then turning into my skin color and honestly I could probably wear this and get away with it without any powder at all but um, if I'm doing my makeup and especially if I'm going to be on stage I'm not going to take any chances by the way I'm only using just a very little dab of this foundation besides I'm a hog when it comes to product anyway But at least I can admit it. Okay. I'm kind of doing this fast because I want to get through everything. So forgive me if it seems like I'm going too way too fast. But it appears like I have a good coverage for what I put on, so... Very smooth very finished okay now this is the powder found the powder foundation I use I use Clinique perfectly real which comes in this kind of look like but it flips over which is nifty and then you got the little sponge I do not suggest using this powder with a um, regular powder applicator just brush the powder brush because it will um, go on too sheer. You won't get nearly the amount of coverage unless you use the sponge. And I know people don't they don't like it when you use sponges because they can carry bacteria but um, in this case honestly with the coverage that I want unless I had like a big kabuki that would be more coarse to get into the, the pan I'm just going to stick with my little spongy. I'm just going to put this in here and the shade is customized to me, so just go to your um, local Clinique counter and they will customize your shade to your color. But the one that I use is shade 120 and natural, I think is what they, what they call it. So, yeah. Now this stuff goes on like butter. You wouldn't even have to use liquid foundation. I rarely use liquid foundation with this. And normally, my favorite powder, believe it or not, is um, Alme. I like Alme a lot. And what I like about Alme is it's very pure and it's noted to be also um, hypoallergenic. It's supposed to be very hypoallergenic. So check that out. It's really good stuff. Actually, I also read up on Alme and I figured out that Alme was formed because it was clinical. So it's kind of like, if you want to think about it, it's kind of like your clinical clinique, but over the, over the counter. It's really tough getting that um, five o'clock shadow that men have. I'm trying to cover that up too. But um, I think that pretty well wraps up my foundation. Um, if you have any questions that I did not cover, you can start emailing me. I don't mind getting messages through YouTube, but um, I'm finding that my comments, I don't think I'm getting all my comments in my inbox. Like I'll be getting comments and then I'll find them on my videos later. So the best way to contact me is through my email which is Bratton, which is my last name, B-R-A-T-T-O-N, M, which is my first initial, underscore, 2006, which is my grad year, at yahoo.com. And that's your way to contact me. So I will talk to you all guys later make requests for videos. I will be doing more videos lately, so go for it. I'll see you guys um, when I see you. Toodles!